I'm Bob Terry. Get ready for another classic Western movie brought to you here free on the internet by westernsontheweb.com. Your home for classic Western entertainment online, and it's all free. Son, we sure been through a lot these last three years, ain't we? Sure have, Grizzly. Sometimes I wonder how we ever got through it all. Yeah. That time in Colorado three years ago when I first met you. You dragged me out of that burning hotel room with a slug in my shoulder. <laughs> This shooting scrape today with that marshal was one of the closest calls we've ever had. like the marshal's in a tough spot. Yeah. Stay still, marshal. They'll think you're hit. Hit. 
He ain't hit. He's just fooling them. Look. He thought we fired at him. Thanks, we're part of the gang. Yeah, he'll never believe us with our reputation. Let's streak it. We lost him. Looks that way. It's a question which way they went. You boys go downstream, and I'll go this way. been some excitement. Always on the pride, dodging the law. And what for? We ain't done nothing but good, fighting bandits, rustlers, and outlaws, and helping the helpless. There's been a lot of dirty tricks blamed on us, Grizzly, but we never did. You realize, son, that with all our shooting, we, we ain't never killed anybody? I wonder what old Marshal Gregg would say if someone told him we saved his life today. With our reputation? You'd never believe it, Grizzly. He thinks we were part of that gang, sure shoot. The old buzzard didn't know that hombre was on the roof right above him. <laughs> if we hadn't winged him, the marshal had been wearing wings by now. Or horns. You never can tell. <laughs> <laughs> I'm getting tired of hiding out like this all the time. Let's go to a new country where we can walk the streets and not have to shoot our way out. Me too. Let's cut through California up into Montana. We'll homestead a ranch and settle down. I suppose you'll be getting married. <laughs> Nothing to suit me better than to play grandpappy to your kid. When do we start? In the morning. Let's make it early. Well, pleasant dreams, Grizzly. Yeah. There's one consolation. There won't be no gun-toting, star-packing marshal to turn them into nightmares. Was that, was that you? you? No. no. Well, well, what was it? Maybe it was the horses. Son? Our horses never made a noise like that. It wasn't human. 
We're getting out of here right now. Well, son, we're in California now. She's a land of milk and honey. Well, right now, I'd be satisfied with a beef stew. Yeah. Well, let's get out of here and find one. I reckon there won't be any money in this first trip. Yeah, that's what the other driver said. Well, there must have been some crooked work done. How could anybody get into this box without me and on it? Yes, blacksmith must be having his city. <laughs> I'll be with you in a minute. Where's Pete? Pete's having lunch. He didn't expect you so soon. For you boy. A horse through a shoe. How soon can I get him? We'll fix him right up. Fair enough. What do you say we look the town over, son? Okay, Greg. You know, son, there's an old friend of mine used to live in this town. Friend, huh? Yeah. Well, I'm betting two to one it's not the sheriff. <laughs> Come on. A fellow in this town named Pete Manning? Yeah, he's the express agent. I'm going up that way. Come on. Hello, boys. Where's Pete? Hello, Sheriff. What's up? Well, we met eight, my old friend Grizzly. Hi, Pete. <laughs> well, well. Oh, Pete, I want you to meet my sidekick, Bob Rivers. This Pete Manning. Glad to know you, too. Howdy, Manning. Excuse me, boys. I'll be with you in a minute. Oh, Silver. Hi. Come through okay, did you? Yeah. 
Never eaten for water. Mm-hmm. Wait a minute, boys. We'll just take a look. Well, Keller, what have you got to say? It's mighty strange, Manning. Bill and I can swear we never kicked this box till we got here. Came straight through. That's what the others said. I'm sorry, boys, but you're both responsible. I'll have to hold both of you, Keller, and solve this mystery and find that money. This is the third time that money's disappeared. Someone must have a duplicate key. Impossible. That's a new padlock. Stevens and I have the only keys. I guess I'll have to shut down the station or drive the stage myself. You see, the boys are scared of the job. I had to send in the batter for Keller. If you mean that job's open, Manning, why, Grizz and I'd be glad to take it. In fact, we're itching for it. Well, I'd hate to get you boys into trouble. Trouble's our middle name. We live on it. What do you say? Well, if you want to take a chance, the job's yours. When do we start? You're working right now. <laughs> you boys just passing through? We were, but we decided to stay a while. We're taking over the stage job for the express company. What happened to the new driver? There's 5,000 missing from the strong box. Money gone again, eh? Yeah. The money can't jump out of the box that way. That's all? Not that box. I made it myself. Someone must have a duplicate key. Better get back to your work. All right, Dad. That's a mighty fine looking daughter you got there. She don't belong in this town. As soon as I can, I'm taking her away. Pete, you've been driving a week now. How do you like the job? Oh, it's all right. But there's not enough action to suit me. Mm. We crazy treadmill. Well, your first shipment of money's coming through. Maybe you'll get your excitement. I can't help but think that this blacksmith might have something to do with this, Mr. Grizz. He made that strong box, you know. What's the difference who made it? The question is, who gets into it and how? That's what we've got to find out. I think I'll go over and have a talk with him. He might let something slip. Yeah. Are you sure you're going to see the blacksmith? Is your dad here? No, he isn't. He's gone over to Ohio to see his brother. He won't be back for a while then, will he? I don't think so. Oh. Howdy, Matt. Been expecting you all week. Any trouble? No. Only another driver in jail. Don't tell me. Ain't that too bad? <laughs> the express company sent this over with their compliments. 
<laughs> Rather a good haul, Mac. Not bad. How'd the kid come through? All right. She don't care much for the job, though. You know, I've been thinking that. She's liable to squeal someday. She'll never do that. I've got her trained. He's home now, afraid to even look outside. Do you mean that he keeps you corralled up here in the house all the time? Why, yes. He says I'm not old enough to have friends. <laughs> He's your... My pard. And the best pal a fellow ever had. The only trouble with him is he's always worrying about me. Now he wants me to settle down and get married. <laughs> well, I've often thought how wonderful it would be to have someone really care for you. It would be wonderful, I guess, if you got the right girl. Oh, I remember well. The village schoolhouse bell was a clinging and a clanging and a clinging. And when I went to school, I learned the golden rule. And I always joined in the singing. How the hell? <coughs> So that new driver and his part are a couple of tough hombres, eh? They're the slickest pair of gunslingers I've ever seen. I caught them practicing this morning. Yeah? Maybe I'd better get the boys and surprise them. That's what I've been thinking. One thing, their being here ain't doing us any good. Here you are. Stephen. So long. Good luck. You know, I don't trust those two. That's why I came along. I ain't taking any chances with strangers. I'll be right behind you, Chris. Don't I know it. The kid ain't with him. That makes things easy.
Are you all right, Sheriff? I shook up a bit. Otherwise, okay. <laughs> well, it's still here. That's all I care about. I wonder what happened to the bandits. Well, unless I'm mistaken, right about now, they're looking at some fireworks. Well, they come pretty near getting you, didn't they? Oh, you can't kill an old buzzard like me. <laughs> All right, that's gone. Hey, Sheriff, you better stay here and watch. I'll round up them horses and pull that heap out of here. All right. Comes a kid now. Hi, son. Howdy, Chris. I got two of them, Sheriff. The other one got away. All right, get down play, you two. Here's part of the hardware. What happened to you? They knocked me out, and the sheriff and me took a ride over the cliff. Yeah? Yeah. Well, seeing they got you in the head, I guess they didn't hurt you much, Grizzly. <laughs> All right, get in. <laughs> All right, please. All right, Grizz, let's get going. like you had a tough trip. Oh, it wasn't tough. So. We wouldn't have been late, Manning, if it wasn't for Grizzly here. You can't keep that space coach on the road. Uh -huh. He's getting pretty old, you know. Tell me about it. Where's let's see if that filthy lucre's in the box. Yep, there she is. Looks like we've broken that jinx. Yeah. It sure does. Let's have a story, Grizz. Well, you see... glad you're safe. Would you really have cared if something had happened? When are we going north, Chris? Oh, pretty soon, I reckon. You remember what you said about me getting married? Yes, yeah, sir. 
Hey, Cracky, nothing suit me better than to be grandpappy to one or two or oh, half a dozen of your kids. Well, I don't know about you being granddad to an army. <laughs> but as far as me getting married is concerned, it looks like you're going to get your wish. What do you mean? When we go north, someone's going with us. Hello, Matt. Did you hear the news? They got the boys. Yeah, and they almost got me. We've got to get out of town before they start talking. You're right. Say, listen, I hear there's a big shipment tomorrow. Now it's up to Mary. She'll do it, and we'll beat it tomorrow night. Hello, boys. Hi, Jeff. I can't get anything out of those crooks. But they'll talk. Just give them time. Just got a phone call. You'll have another big shipment of money tomorrow. Well, with two of those road agents locked up, I guess we'll get through all right. <laughs> I tell you, this will be the last time. Just think what it'll mean to all of us, Mary. I won't go through with it, I tell you. I won't. I'm through sending innocent people to jail. I'm through being a criminal. All right, then. If you won't get it the easy way, we'll get it the other. You don't mean... That's exactly what I mean. We'll shoot them down. You don't want us to do that, do you? Oh, no. There can't be any killing. I'll do it. I'll do it. Boy, give us your trunk. Listen, somebody laughed. Give, well, give me a hand, partner. Sure. Okay. I'll give you a boost there. All right, Jeff. All right, what the cutting is. Yep, yeah. Sure, heavy. Hey, what you got in that trunk, Ken? Uh, what? Uh, what? Oh, just a bunch of Matt's tools. Tools, eh? Yeah. yeah. I guess I'll drop down and have a look at them tools. They sure are some heavy. I just got a hunch, Grizz. I'm going to ride the ridge above you this time. All right, son. Ready, Sheriff? Yep, let's go.
Matt, what is it? Sheriff suspicious. As soon as you can get that trunk, we'll put it on the buckboard and drive it out of town away. Why? He was down at Ohio and helped me load that trunk on the stage. And he thought it was mighty heavy. Asked me what was in it. What'd you tell him? I told him it was a bunch of your tools I was sending down to town to you. He seemed mighty curious. We'll take care of that. Look in that trunk. Well, sure. Come over to the shop. I'll show you a good set of tools. I'll be there. By the way, where's that kid pal of yours? I ain't seen him the whole trip. I don't know, Sheriff. He'll be showing up. Right, he's suspicious. We've got to get out of here. Hello, Grim. Hi, Pete. Empty. Why, you was with me all the time, Sheriff. Well, that's true. But where was that partner of yours when we was getting a drink at the lake? Why, I... Don't tell me this man's driving your stage. He sure is. Why, he and his pal are wanted in every state on the border. I was right. I suspicioned you two from the start. This man's a friend of mine, Sheriff. There's some mistake. Mistake or no mistake, I am holding him. Ten to one, his partner's got the money. What do you got to say? I would hate to tell you, you fathead. I'm forming a posse to run down that partner of yours. Get going.
Mary. They forced me to do it, Bob. They threatened to kill you if I didn't. I went through with it just to save your life. But why didn't you tell the sheriff? Don't you understand? I couldn't send my own father to jail. Maybe to hang. You see, there have been men killed. I think I am in. But you don't have to worry about that anymore. He'll never bother you again. You mean you... No. He was killed when the buggy went over the cliff. I'm awfully... We've got to get out of here. No one must ever know about this. Just keep circling the town. He'll be back looking for his pal. You wait here for me, Mary. Grizz and I will be back for you later. All right, Bob. Stay here. <laughs> Hands up there, outlaw. Get down. Search him. Just as I thought. I can explain this, Sheriff. I was just on my way to... On your way to find your pal, I know. He's in jail, and that's where you are going. Get mounted. be silly, Mary. I'm taking this dough and you're going with me. I'm not going with you. And you're leaving that money. I am, am I? But I'll show you. United States Marshal, miss, and I want you to tell me what all this is about. I will tell you. I'll tell you everything, because you've got to help me save my friends. Who are your friends? Bob Rivers and, and Grizzly. Oh, so they stopped off here, eh? Well, go on with your story. I got everything figured out except how they got into that box. Well, how do you account for the kid bringing those bandits? Competition. Put the whole field for themselves. So you see, Grizzly, 
What else could I do? Don't you worry, son. We've been in tighter spots than this. I'm glad you've done what you did. Hi, Sheriff. Howdy, Marshal. I got a prisoner I want locked up. Mm, that's easy. Bring out those two outlaws. I'm going to take them to the border. Mm, I'll be glad to get rid of them. Deputy, go get their horses. Okay. I figured to have you in here sooner or later. Come on, Archer, too. Now get in there. Put these on. Hmm. So I finally caught up with you, eh? You boys have been running wild for the last three years. But now you're coming with me. Now get going. Come on, Sheriff. Come And you better take these. You might be lost without them out there in Montana. Now this is what you get for saving a certain marshal's life on the border. But don't you let any star packer sneak into your camp and overhear your plan. You mean you're you're letting us go? Ain't got no reason for holding you. But Marshal, I can't leave now. I've got to get back to town. That ain't necessary. She's waiting for you right over there. Well, good luck, son. Thanks, Marshal. Goodbye, Grizzly. Goodbye, Marshal. Good luck to you. Thank you. <laughs> right, cracky, now I know I'm going to be a grandpappy. <laughs> <laughs> 